All right, welcome to another SVG new sponsor spotlight. I'm Jason Dackman, chief editor at SVG, and I'm joined with a longtime vet of the sports broadcast industry, now solutions architect with Kisui, Ryan Mahoney. Ryan, thanks so much for taking the time with us today. Thanks so much for having me. Cool. So look, uh, especially when the pandemic first hit and everyone was just really searching for content with live sports on hold, Kisui really took a huge step forward in terms of uh, being a cloud-based production platform that would allow content owners to create content entirely remotely. And then as the pandemic has evolved, you guys have continued to, you know, offer some, you know, really robust uh, services and, and participate in some really cool projects. So for those that aren't familiar with the platform, tell us a little bit about Kisui. Sure. So uh, the particular platform we're talking about at Kisui is, is called Kisui Studio. Uh, it was previously called um, Cloudcast. So if you've heard of Cloudcast, that, that's what the previous name was, but it's now Kisui Studio. Uh, and it is a production platform in the cloud. Um, it allows you to create new content uh, completely remotely and, and decentralized, really. So uh, you can have talent and crew members operating the platform anywhere in the world at the same time. Uh, and all of the heavy lifting gets done in the cloud and all of the actual operation of the platform is just done in a web browser. So your uh, commentators or your talent that are going to be on the show are just contributing through their web browser and your crew members are also just controlling the platform uh, through our web browser interface. So very flexible in, in that regard and again allows for contribution you know, all over the world. Yeah, and especially in the times that we're living in, uh, obviously, these are the types of tools that everyone's going after these days. So can you give us a couple examples of uh, some some users that have been able to leverage Kisui uh, for some unique productions? Absolutely. So, you know, uh, even before the pandemic, uh, we were working with the NBA to do alternate broadcasts of the, their games, uh, doing alternate language, right? So Portuguese and Spanish broadcasts that they would then deliver to those audiences over their, their League Pass app. Um, and that was you know really gaining a lot of traction with them and, and they were expanding their production but then when COVID hit uh and we you know didn't have live sports to to do alternate broadcasts of um you know with the nba we we even did broadcasts of like rewatches. so get some players or get uh different people that were involved in those games into the platform re-watch a game or maybe segments of a game and kind of talk through what happened um do, do all sorts of different spotlights on uh you know historical events that had happened and it allowed for everybody to continue to make uh sports television you know while we were all locked down and and you know what was interesting is there was so much access at that time to players and coaches because everybody was at home so everybody was available to you know do these kind of things and they were everybody was looking for for something to participate in you know as well um so it kind of created a really nice um you know culmination of some some unique content that we might not have you know gotten uh had we not been locked down for for a few months and then really when we came out of of lockdown and, and live sports started uh getting back um you know uh, on their feet uh we worked with the pga tour on their return to golf uh so what we did was we took one of their rounds of golf and we did nine different broadcasts uh, alternate broadcasts with uh, all different commentator pairings so you know influencer pairings, celebrities other athletes and so they were paired together and we delivered that to Twitter. So nine different Twitter streams that you could watch. So if you wanted to listen to Darius Rucker talk about golf, you could listen to Darius Rucker. If you wanted to listen to some, you know, some athletes um, who also, you know, are involved in golf or are interested in golf, talk about it. You can kind of move around to those different broadcasts. You know, they also included um, broadcast specific graphics. Uh, we were taking social media, you know, taking tweets and social media posts and, and, uh, displaying them inside of those unique broadcasts. So it's not just the the commentary portion of uh, the platform that they were leveraging. They were leveraging the, the full stack to create these true alternate broadcasts. And with the rise of the alternate broadcast, the Manning cast and so forth, I, that's going to become even more key for you guys, I'm sure, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've seen that again with, you know, using the NBA as an example. We started, you know, simply doing alternate language broadcasts and just doing, you know, alternate language under the, the primary video. But, um, you know, as the NBA saw they, they and they got comfortable with the broadcast and with the platform, um, they started putting their uh, alternate language commentators on the screen. But then we also moved into doing different types of broadcasts with them, uh, like influencer based broadcasts, bet stream 
broadcast, right? So it's just very much, uh, you know, talking about the the lines of the game and, and for people who are interested in betting. Um, so we've seen a big expansion of this alternate broadcast model and, and seeing the Manning cast um, get so much, you know, positive uh, reaction has really been, uh, you know, reaffirming to us and to our customers that we've already been doing these kind of things, right. um, you know, on a large scale, but we allow you to do it, you know, at, at a, uh, without the overhead that the Manning cast has, right? They, they've got, uh, you know, probably a pretty big overhead um, control rooms, physical space, you know, all of that, all of our stuff is done in the cloud. All of your contribution is remote. So you can really look at any uh, sports property or sports right that you have that you're broadcasting and financially, you know, um, pull it off with, you know, using Kizwe Studio versus having to fire up this entire infrastructure. Uh, right. To, yeah. You, you can, it, it, yeah. It gives you a lot more flexibility, a lot more freedom yeah. to, to think about those kind of possibilities without Absolutely. a huge cost for sure. So as we are uh, now hopefully uh, transitioning into a bit more normalcy in terms of this hybrid production environment, a little remote, a little on site, how do you see Kiswe factoring into future uh, live sports productions and, and post-produced sports productions? Yeah. You know, I think kind of going off that, that Manning cast, um, you know, discussion, I, I think, we're seeing that there is a big appetite for these alternate broadcasts. We almost think of it sometimes as like the Twitchification of live sports. You know, you go and watch Twitch and it's the same game being played by, you know, a dozen different people, but maybe you want the perspective of a certain individual. Well, you know, why can't we do sports that way and and help to, um, you know, serve these, these kind of micro audiences that have specific interests and, um, you know, want to be be um, involved, you know, maybe in the broadcast with some sort of social media engagement that we can help pull in. So uh, if we can continue to, to help our partners um, serve those audiences and expand those audiences, especially in the, you know, the streaming first world and in, in the digital world that we live in now uh, with younger audiences, um, that would be great. And we are seeing that, you know, as sports have come back, um, a lot of our partners have increased um, you know, the amount of, of throughput through our, our platform with the sports properties that they have. Sure. Yeah. Well, you guys have a lot of cool stuff going on. I'm sure a lot of cool stuff coming down the line. Uh, if you'd like more info on Kisswe, check out kisswe.com or there's plenty of coverage on all their efforts at uh, svgsportsvideo.org. Ryan, thanks so much for taking the time today. Uh, really appreciate it and uh, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you very much. Great to see you.